Like if you had a perfect scenario of bringing someone in and the day you wanted them as a full-fledged agent that you, you know, whatever it may be, define that. If it's three weeks, if it's two weeks, why not? It can be two weeks and then yeah. work backwards. Hey, Craig, let's get into some coffee talk. Hey, I love it. I love doing some coffee talk. Well, you know, talk about what? Dogs, daughters, whatever. It's coffee talk. Coffee talk. And it's a coffee talk. Oh, oh, <laughs> did I hear the number five? Um, yes, which is actually how old you are today. It is Craig's birthday. He's 50 years old. <laughs> well, no. And guess what? <laughs> There's only going to be a few more of these coffee talks. And as promised, it won't be my birthday as you're listening to this, but you can send any presents to 5102 East Pima Road, Tucson, Arizona, 85712. Whose address is that? That's the office. Ah, you're going to get yeah. some stalkers. Yeah. Yeah. You Why does somebody send some, Craig, Craig, Craig a Somebody send some boxer shorts? <laughs> I certainly want to get the ladies version. <laughs> <laughs> no, just when you fall asleep, Mr. Craig. All right. So 2022 Six Steps Success Secret Sauce. Number five. Numero Cinco. Why don't you have the uh, the snare roll? That's what you need. Are you going to press a button that doesn't work? We'll see. Did nope. you hear that? No, I didn't. That okay. Work. So what's number five, Mr. Craig? Oh, number five is <laughs> hiring. Hiring <laughs> for 1,000, Alex. Oh, wait, not Alex. Ooh. May he rest in peace. Okay. Yeah. What is the success secret sauce to hiring? What oh. is some of it? What is some of it? I, I well, know it's, we have it a little out of order on the sheet. Well, right here. well I'm just going to start from the top anyway. No, I'm not. Let's go. Yeah, I up. see what you're saying. That's a yeah, good order pro- of. I'd say probably number five, uh, number four, right? So yeah. the first thing you got to do, and the first thing that you need to be thinking of, and this should be consistent and ongoing, and and almost everything that we're going to be talking about over the six days of of uh, secret six step success secret sauces for 2022 is going to be stuff that needs to be ongoing. Would, right? W- am I speaking out of turn by saying that, Mr. Jason? No, dead on. Dead on, like a hammer on a nail. And the first thing would be prospecting for candidates. Yeah, getting that process down. Well, I mean, we it's all a funnel. Like, yes, these things in our agency that we're talking about are all a funnel. It can't be something that we do once in a while and we just go for it. There has right. to be a process to it so that we eliminate the pain of, of wondering, right? It's right. gotta be numbers based. Yeah. And we all know it can take a very long time to find a really good hire. So that front end of the funnel and it needs to be having people put into it on a regular mm-hmm. basis. Yep. And it and it just needs to be ongoing because if the if the sales cycle of your hiring funnel is two months long and then there's another month of training or two months before they're really, really going. And then they don't always work out. You're looking at four months. So you don't want to plant the tree in four months. Yep. You want to plant it 20 years ago or today. Yes. As they would say. So when we're prospecting, we got to one way to do this is to go on all the websites, do yep. some sort of uh, resume search, gather those resumes, shoot an email out to them start getting people lined up into some sort of hiring funnel, meaning some sort of process where you're doing this on a daily basis and loading them up for interviews. Right, right. I remember we went to something, Mr. Jason, where I think it was in our coaching group where we were we were talking about how productive people are every day. And what is it about two hours out of the eight hours that you work, you're actually truly productive where you're, you know, focused and you're yeah. actually doing stuff. It so two hours. <laughs> I mean, I mean, at the end of the day here, like all of these things are things that need to be constantly being done. And if the process is put in place and the calendar is blocked out, it's just something that gets done, whether it's 
you yourself as the agent doing it, or you have you outsource it and hire somebody to do that for you, somebody like Team Hired or one of those companies that is pushing people into your funnel for you, or you have somebody in in office that's doing it, or you hire a different recruiter, whatever, it has to be blocked out, right? That time has to be there at mm. least to inspect. Even if you have Team Hired, you got to have uh, the days set up. Somebody has to show up for those interviews. So it all needs to be it all needs to be written out. And we like the group. Love we it. like the group interviews. You can set those up once a week and then every single day have somebody in your agency that's getting those resumes, trying to fill that funnel. Yeah. So that's the first part is creating a well, process, an ongoing process for prospecting. Because well, think about if you were if you were doing leads, right? You wouldn't buy one lead to get right. one sale. You're going to buy 100 leads to get a hold of 10 of them, to quote one of them, and then keep right. doing this every day because eventually you're going to get some sales out of it. So, And let's important. let's try to rock through here because this is yeah. going to be a 45-minute podcast. Time, huh? yes. Yeah. Uh, the I, next know, thing... I know C. Graves wants 45 minutes. <laughs> uh, how to interview, right? Spend some time on this. Spend mm-hmm. some time on what are the benefits? It's exactly like the script. What are the benefits of your agency? What are the pain points? What are the things you want to attract? You know what I mean? You definitely want to talk them into it at first. This is what I like to do. Talk them into it. All the benefits, all the cool stuff, but it's going to take some work. Scare them by all the things that you know that why people, why do people leave? Well, you know, you have to make at least this many calls and do this many tiles, blah, blah, blah. So there's a, all that upside you get but it comes at this price. And then at yeah. least so that that's out there. So I like to attract them and then unattract. Repel. Repel, repel them. them. Yes. I, yeah. It's, I think it's three things. It's, it's attract, repel, and then take away. Yep. Say, mm, you know, I'm not sure if it's, if it's the best fit. I think it's important to do that piece. It's hard. Yeah. It's very, very difficult to do because especially us insurance dudes are, are pretty nice and we don't want to – you know, do that kind of thing, but it, it's important to see what their reaction is to to that rejection, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, because they'll definitely be getting that in the agency here and there, right? Right, right. So come up but with that process. It's the interviewing those, process. It's the and script. specific interview questions, right? We need to have those questions down. Spend the time, develop the questions, and they need to be situational, right? Mm-hmm. Tell me about a time that a really good podcast to go back to with us is the Randy Thompson episode. He has some great mm. questions. I would hit oh, that Mr. up. Randy Thompson. Yep. Randy Thompson. Or Randy Walker or Thompson. Randy Walker, Thompson. One of those. It's, yeah, it's one of those. Yeah. Gosh, we're, see, I told well, you it's well, Craig's old. birthday. I, He's old. Yeah, I got old timers. So first we have the process for bringing people in the funnel. Then we have uh-huh. the process that we're going to say when we're yep. in front of these people. It has to be written down. This stuff has to be written down. This is how you create consistency. Okay, third one, Craig. How to choose the candidate. Right. I read it correctly. I could have said how to chose the candidate, but I didn't say that. So we need specific criteria on how to choose them, right? What are we looking for? And and this needs to be documented down also. Um, Right. Different, you know, what was their enthusiasm level? How well did they speak? What happened when you rejected them? How were they in the situational questions. And really, you need to put a monetary value to each of these things, like a one through five or one through 10. So, and do it at the time of the interview, because then when you forget about who you were talking to, especially if you talk to a bunch of them, you're going to have numbers to work off of. What are you shaking up over there? Like five, like the number five. Yeah. Like the number five. So number five is or number four is higher, <laughs> higher gotcha. for culture. That's higher. a big one. Oh, yeah. Because you can train on a lot of stuff, right? But like hiring for culture is huge because we've all, you know, if you've heard any of the podcasts that we talk about, it just takes one or two people to start spreading that negativity and everything else yeah. in the agency. I may have experienced that recently. <laughs> right. <laughs> and and the thing is, is it's incredibly important. You want to be, you want to want to show up to work. You want to be proud of your agency, but you want to want to show up to work. Yeah. And I think hiring for culture is something that everybody has to think about. Yeah. 
a hundred percent. The culture is really important, especially in this position. The, the sales agent is a tough role. It's, it's a really, really gritty sales position, you know, a lot yes. of repetition and a lot of rejection. And so it's gotta be a fun environment, but also there has to be some structure to it. Otherwise it becomes chaos. All right. Assess cool. them. We want to assess them. Got to use an assessment. There has yeah. to be some quantifiable tool that we are comparing everybody to. Yeah. So Folk, that's something. Show. Maybe use the the assessment tool. We'll get into that later. That's coming 2022. The SSI? The SSI. And the, the disc. Yes, and the disc. Yeah. So Spoiler assess. Alert. So, okay. Let's recap. Prospecting. Constantly yeah. every day, putting people in that funnel. Yes. Interviewing once a week. Yes. How to interview. Have that process documented. Yes. How to choose candidates. Yes. Write it out. Hire for yes. culture. What's your culture? You can write yeah, that out. Yeah, define that, that culture. Out. Define mm-hmm. what the culture is. What's what's your, what is it? Your chief definite purpose, right? Right. <laughs> then assess everybody. Assess and make assess sure everybody's going to fall in line with the role that you want. And right. then this is then. so important when you hire that person. You put all that time in so far. What's yeah. the next step? Oh, uh, we got to onboard them. So there has to be, has to be, must, 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 underline, underline, underline. There must be a well put together plan for how to bring them on so that they have a quality experience when they walk through the door that first day. If they yep. come into a shit show, part of my French, Ooh. it is well. It's my birthday. If they come into that kind of a show on the first day, it does not bode well, right? They're like, "What in the hell have I done?" Right. And then on the flip side of that, yeah. So they make the decision if this is going to be my home for the next couple years or not, right? But then yeah. also, you're setting the expectation. So many times we throw 100. somebody in a seat. And it's like, ah, oh, they're going to go through training. They're going to go through this, like chill out, whatever. And then three weeks later, it's like, okay, now start working hard. And they're like, well, what are you talking about? I haven't been right. working hard. Like they've already yeah. set the expectation. So come in with a defined plan with times that they need stuff finished by with de- like everything needs to put down what you expect. The problem is this. A lot of times we hire someone, they don't know what to do. You Mm-mm. then three, four weeks later, you like, well, they're not doing the work. Well, you never even told them what you expected of right. them. Of course they're not doing it. So they, this is yeah. a huge thing. Like have benchmarks that they need to follow daily, have benchmarks that they need to be at weekly and stuff to move into that role as quickly as possible. Yeah. And they need to be uh, I Obviously, there has to be training. There needs to be some systems learning and all that kind of thing. But Mm -hmm. that needs to be sprinkled throughout the action. Because if they're not doing action activities, if they're not on the phone, if they're not trying to to get a hold of people, like, you know, and we usually will start them. No, not usually. We start them as telemarketers, right? No matter, they're going to do that at least a week just to have an understanding of what it's like for the people who are pushing all of those leads over to the sales team. They have to understand what those folks are going through so they can respect them and appreciate them because ain't nobody love doing that. Nope. And so think about this, not only, okay, so now you have somebody that came in there as a telemarketer position. They need to know how many calls they need to make an hour, how many transfers you expect uh, within the hour or the two hours or whatever, how long they're going to be doing that for, how many days, what are those benchmarks to move them up the ladder into the position, right? And if you've literally written that out correctly and not even correctly, but if you have written it out in a timeline that you expect, well, if they don't follow it, then you can make corrective actions early on, but Hey, it might not be the right person. Yeah. Right. So if they can't get like a transfer an hour and they can't make 60, they can't make, you know, even 30 calls an hour. It's like that, that wrong person. Like right. so what, what's wait, what, what's happening here? Yep. So all you I gotta mean, do is this, right? Yep. Yeah. So these yep. are the things like write it out. Write out your perfect, like if you had a perfect scenario of bringing someone in and the day you wanted them 
as a full-fledged agent that you, you know, whatever it may be, define that. If it's three weeks, if it's two weeks, why not? It can be two weeks and then yeah. work backwards. All the stuff that they need to do within that two weeks to be at that level in two weeks. And then right. what's the easiest first step to get to the, you know what I mean? And then from easiest to hardest, go through that have days and times that you need these things done by and boom, there you go. There's your onboarding right. process. And then yep. they'll be done within two weeks. A lot of agents will bring them in and say, okay, you got to learn the product and you got to do this and you got to learn this. It's like anybody can sit and read stuff, but not everybody can get on the phone and make calls and not everybody's going to do that activity. You want to find out whether or not they can do that activity now because every minute that they're sitting there, you're paying them. So they can learn the product. They can do all that stuff. But, but let's first see if they can actually execute. And and it also sets that precedent, right? It sets the expectation. This is no joke. We're going to do this. And some of the people that I had the, that have performed the best, I even brought them out after interviewing them and put them on the dialer and said, now you need to get a transfer and just see no. what they said because they were super, um, you know, a little bit overselling themselves. And I said, you know what? I think it'd be great for you to go out and get a transfer right now. And all of the ones that did that ended up being very good. Love it. Yep. Yeah. Because you showed them exactly what to expect from yeah. the get. And then they continued that performance. Yep. And I got and a free that's, transfer. There you go. And yeah. that's a coffee talk. It's a coffee talk. And there's only four left. So if you, I'm not even going to say it. That's it. That's it. Mic drop. That's it. Mic drop. Bye. Merry Christmas. Have a good one. Merry Christmas. Not yet. Bye. Hey, Jason. Yes, Mr. Craig. That was another awesome episode, wasn't it? Mm-hmm. Well, if people want to get a little bit more action and, and learn how to do uh, write 100000 in premium off yes. of even the worst internet leads, where could they go? They can go to live.teledudes.com. Ooh, that sounds exciting. Are we going to be there? Yes. It's a weekly call that we're doing right now that will – it's live, and it will show you the process, the entire process. Mm, it's super awesome. Mm, I love it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Sign up right now, live.teledudes.com. Live.teledudes.com. That's live.teledudes.com. Hey, Craig, there's a new community that we are starting that I cannot wait to tell everybody about. It is – our live texting community where you and I are going to answer people's questions and give them free content, right? Are you kidding me? We get yep. to talk to them? Yeah, which is awesome, but they have to opt in. They have to text us at 520-214-2219. That's 520-214-2219. Nice. I'm Craig, are you going to respond to these texts? I'm going to respond to them for sure, live. I'm into it too. It's going to be well, awesome, and it's a it's going to be our new texting community where we're going to get back to everybody that we can and drop some crazy content, free content, and free um, the calculator that you just came up with. Mm. That's right, the calling calculator, sales material. I mean, everything for insurance agents. This is it. It's the best texting community out there for insurance agents. Well, what the heck is that number again? I can't remember it. It's 520-214-2219. That's okay. 520-214-2219. I love it. I'm going to text it right now. 520-214-2219. All right. I'll see you later, Mr. Jason. Bye, Mr. Craig. Wait, do they even listen to this on the radio anymore? <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. Nice. Uh, all right.